You stare into the abyss, and the abyss stares right back. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to You Are Empty, this is episode 5. Last time we, oh god, this train has to stop vibrating. We uh, went out to the countryside for a little romp, and we had a crazy person who had some mad contortions who told us that we should go talk to the city council because they could totally fix whatever had happened from those damned wise men. And then he proceeded to drag himself off. Alright, I'm guessing that I'm slightly stuck in this thing, which is why it's vibrating. But we're heading back into the city now. Don't have a lot of pistol ammo. Plenty of shotgun ammo, though. And... Do we have any Molotovs left? We have one Molotov. That's a good question. How am I going to get out of here? Okay, this, uh, what I thought was a metal wall just collapsed like a piece of plywood. So, I'll just get out here, I guess. So the enemies really have nothing to do with the locations, it seems, because these shotgun hicks just show up here in the city, too. Is this... I was going to say, is this a first aid thing, but it <laughs> doesn't look like it. What to do in case you get stuck in electricity or power lines fall on you? Looks like the coal trains have just vanished into thin air. Not a single supply in the past three days. My character feels like they're walking with a bit of a limp now. <laughs> like I'm walking in fits and starts. I wonder if uh, maybe that save, or that auto save, kind of fucked up my character, so I'm slightly stuck in the world or something. Jumping doesn't fix it, so whatever. We'll just deal with it. Russians are resourceful. We just deal with it. That was not an accent at all. That was just me sounding like an idiot. So pretty much like normal. Oh, I thought those were the women for a second. New enemy to add to the list? Hammer dudes. They look like fucking vampires. Does that do enemy too? I don't actually know what we just did there. Well, that's not a good sound. Oh, I guess we open this chute. This coal chute. are going to explode. So we're just going to make our way through this fucking molten factory. Is there anything down here? No, I think that's just in case you fall down. Oh, jeez. I would have totally missed this first hole and f fallen in. To the molten river. Definitely use some more pistol ammo and some more fucking wine bottle molotovs. I feel like wine bottles are a bit too durable to use for a molotov. Because I mean, oh fuck, I fell in. It's hot. Not that hot though. 
just sort of scorched our feetsies. But yeah, like, uh, you, you want a bottle that's gonna break on impact for sure, and I feel like a wine bottle would kind of only partially break if you threw it. I mean, yeah, if you threw it hard enough or it hit the right kind of hard surface, it would probably shatter. But not reliably enough that you'd want to use it for a Molotov, you know? Oh, wow. That killed me a lot faster. So let's just not fall down there. Alright. <laughs> I think I hit an explosive barrel behind him. So we've also got Fire Poker Man, in addition to Hammer Man. All sorts of exciting new enemies. How come there's not really a theme to these enemies? Like, what was with the the dogs and the patients having metal grafted onto them, but then now we're just back to angry dudes? And dudes with machine guns. What even exploded? Confused. Got him. Yeah, we just got this, uh, a buff dude in some sort of weird, like, harness. Oh, it's not a machine gun, it's a welding torch? Oh, it's like a a nail gun, I guess? I mean, he's got a little pneumatic thing there. So yeah, I guess our machine gun equivalent is just a fucking nail gun with a shit ton of ammo. That might be a new enemy, or it might be a gas mask guy. Oh, floating barrel! It's just a gas mask guy. He was just really excited to see us. Actually, if you pull off that mask, you'll see it's just a fucking dog face. He was very excited. <laughs> Vladimir called on the phone. He was very agitated and started telling me that I should give up everything and rush to the city at once. I didn't understand a thing and asked him to explain, and that's when the connection broke down. I apologize in advance for any more bad Russian-esque accents that I attempt throughout this game, but there will probably be a few of them. Because that's just how I roll. I can't remember if I did that during the Stalker LP or not, but uh, I'll probably definitely be doing that in the next Stalker LP. Oh, shit. So this thing fires really fast if you just keep clicking. What is a secondary fire? Oh, no, it doesn't have one. I guess the shotgun so far is the only weapon that had a secondary. Everything else just has iron sights. 